two of the applicants were evaluated by T, which of I must be true? Oh, this is our scenario. Exactly two by T, right? Mm -hmm. So eight, we have one, two, three, two here, two here, which means we have three there. Okay, what do we now know? What's the first thing we know? G. G. <laughs> we always know G. Okay. K. Okay. K has nowhere to go except here, right? Because now this has two. All right, what else do we know? Uh, yeah, everything else. Yeah. That was a nice hodgepodge of information. We Keep in mind, we, how many groups do we have left here? Two groups, and we have people who... Yeah, together. yeah I would go further than that, Ryan. They hate each other. When you have haters, you have to separate them. Wait, what? They can't be together, that's pretty strong. I mean, it might be like, it might be poor fortune. Maybe they really want to be together. I don't know, but it's easier just to remember that these people hate each other and they have to be separated. So when you have two groups and you have people that hate each other, they're going to be separated, which means what? H and I is going to be separated and I and M is going to be separated. H and M have to be together. So we have H and M together and we have I in the other group. They're going back and forth. What do we now know must be true? FLI. Yes, it's got to be FLI because if you put HM over here, what would happen? FL would have to go here and then I would have to come back in here. So we get I, F, L, H, M. Are we cool with that? Mm -hmm. Just remember people who hate each other can't be together. Um, which of I must be true except. Let's see here. I spread it wrong, right? <laughs> you did must be true? Alright, are we cool with this one? Seven. Seven. 